At what point last year did you have a good idea that this, eventually this much of the offense would center around Andre? Probably the Tennessee game, you know, when he really flashed running and catching. And that was probably his best receiving game. And uh, you knew there was a great future there. How much of everything you do offensively centers around Andre and his abilities and his unique abilities? Well, you know, it, we'd like to we'd make, make sure it's about 70%. Um, but then you have to watch overloading in case Steph or somebody else is in there asking them to do things they can't do. So you, you, want to, you want to tailor it in case Andre goes down. You've got plenty of stuff to go around. 30 catches with any No, no. If, if it's, if it's uh, 10 passes and 20 runs. Is this a matter of opportunity for him? Or is there something different with the way he's playing? Who's that? Lloyd. Oh, yeah, Mike. Mike. Well, no, it's, it's just opportunities, yeah. You know, we caught him in a one-on-one -on -one matchup when really the, the ball was designed to go inside to Larry or, or Smoke, and uh, Carson took the shot, you know, and uh, I, I never – question him when he takes that. He's, he does it for the right reason, and Mike went up and made a play for him. You guys uh, in the passing game have spread the ball around quite a bit, especially when Carson has started. Do you ever worry about receivers being unhappy that maybe they haven't gotten the numbers? That No, just come see me. I'll tell you your role. <laughs> has anybody done that? No, <laughs> not yet. Is it a pretty good group from that standpoint? I mean, they're, as far as... They're very unselfish. You know, you got to check your ego at the door. And... Uh, it's, it's about eliminating interceptions and taking what defenses give you. When you have the number of tools that we have, uh, we can put five guys out there that are more than capable of breaking a game open. And uh, don't force feed anybody. How have senior guys buy into what you're doing more this year than they did last year? Now they saw it work, you know, the last half of the season, going seven and two. Um, they know the process works. Um, we have a coaching staff that's fortunate enough to have a bunch of Super Bowl rings, so they believe in them. You know, that's easy to sell. And, but they still have to go through the process and find out that it actually works. So it's, it was very easy this year. They, they knew what OTAs were going to be like. They knew what training camp was going to be like. They know the daily schedule, what's expected of them now. And um, if we can put together the week of preparation this week that we had last week, I'll feel great going into the game.